What is stress? Stress, is the internal resistance, offered by a material, when an external force is applied. Mathematically, stress is written as sigma is equal to P divided by A. Where sigma is stress. P is external force or load, and A is cross-sectional area. Stress can be considered either as total stress or unit stress. Total stress represents the total resistance to an external effect, while unit stress represents the resistance developed by a unit area of cross-section. The various types of stresses may be classified as Number 1, simple or direct stress, in this tension, compression, and shear lie. Number 2, indirect stress, in which bending and torsion lie. Number 3, combined stress, which include any combination of direct and indirect stress. A bar subjected to a tensile force P at its ends. Consider a section XX, which divides the bar into two parts. The left part to the section XX, will be in equilibrium if tensile force is equal to resisting force. Similarly the right part to the section XX, will be in equilibrium if tensile force is equal to the resisting force. Tensile stress is equal to, resisting force divided by, cross-sectional area, since resisting force is equal to, tensile force, so we can say, tensile stress is equal to, tensile force divided by cross-sectional area. Tensile stress in a suspension bridge, experienced by the main suspension cables and the vertical suspended cables, that hold up the bridge deck. Compressive stress induced in a body, when subjected to two equal and opposite pushes. If we consider a section XX, which divides the bar into two parts. For both part, compressive force is equal to resisting force to attain equilibrium. Compressive stress, is equal to resisting force, divided by cross-sectional area. Since resisting force is equal to push, so compressive stress is equal to, push divided by cross-sectional area. In a suspension bridge, compressive stress mainly acts on the towers and the anchorages, where the upward forces from the cables are transferred, and dissipated into the ground. Shear stress induced in a body, when subjected to two equal and opposite forces, which are acting tangentially across the resisting section. Consider a section XX, which divides the rivet into two parts. The upper part will be in equilibrium if applied force is equal to resistance, similarly the lower part will be in equilibrium if applied force is equal to resistance. Shear stress is equal to, shear resistance divided by shear area. For equilibrium, shear resistance is equal to applied force, so we can say, shear stress is equal to, applied force divided by shear area. What is, strain? When a bar, with uniform cross-section, subjected to a uniform axial tensile stress, will increase its length, the increment of length is the actual deformation of the bar, the fractional deformation, is known as, tensile strain. Under compressive force, a similar bar, would be reduced in length. The fractional deformation, is known as, compressive strain. When a shear load, applied on a body, a shear strain will be produced, which is measured, by the angle, through which the body distorts. A rectangular block, fixed at one face, and subjected to force F, after application of force, it distorts, through an angle phi, and occupies new position, the shear strain is given by, CC dash divided by CD, that is equals to tan phi, since phi is very small, so we can say, shear strain is equal to phi. Volumetric strain, is defined as, the ratio of change in volume, to the original volume of a body, it is a dimensionless quantity, expressed as, the fractional change in volume, and represents, how much the volume of an object changes, under stress.